guys. Welcome back. So let's get into this. Um, as always, I'm a fictional storyteller. Um, I go with whatever story I see, good, bad, or ugly. It's just the way the storyline comes out will determine how a storyline goes. But the one thing is, in this, I expect it to be something regarding love. We have wisdom. The fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. All right. So we could have a character who is, um, <laughs> maybe they've gained some perspective. Um, maybe they feel like they're a fool in love. Maybe they're feeling a little bit like, even though I know this is crazy, it doesn't make sense. Um, here's my number. Call me baby. <laughs> Sorry. That song just popped into my head. <laughs> um, the judgment going to the world. Okay. Calgon, Calgon, take me away. We have got this energy being pulled back up. This is, I'm going to try it one more time. I want to reconcile with that lover. We have Scorpio and possibly, um, uh, Capricorn on that this card. Somebody is getting back with with an ex. Somebody wants to do this now. They might be about to take the plunge. This could be somebody who's about to reach out to their ex and be like, "I, I know, I know it's crazy. Maybe it's crazy that we ever parted ways. Maybe I was a fool back then." I should have never let you go. It could be that kind of energy. We have the Page of Cups going to the Knight of Cups. Wow. Somebody has no ego in this anymore. They actually want to go ahead and say sorry. They actually are looking forward to it. Because saying sorry would like kind of clear their soul a little bit and then lead the way for the next words, which is, you know, this is them saying, I love you. This is them bringing forth an emotional offer. We have the magician going to the high priestess. Wow. I'm going to say that we have someone who is manifesting, coming back into union with their high priestess. Their high priestess um, could very much be their, their 5D power couple. This is the magical 5D power couple. They need to manifest this more than anything. It, it's like all of the petty little 3D arguments and things like that are nothing by comparison to the incredible 5D bond that they feel with this person. So all of a sudden, the you know the the silliness, the how could it, how could I have let some petty argument be the thing that pushed me away from you? And, and what, I'm not going to say sorry, sorry I was a fool. Why would that even matter? In the big scheme of things, this is some powerful divine relationship that is so superior to any of the, the silly fall de -roll that we mortals engage in, right? You know, the, the tit for tat, the, the petty arguments, the, you know, well, I got upset and then I, you know, decided you upset me. And so then I walked away in a huff. There's, that's not a good enough reason to stay away from a relationship this meaningful. <coughs> this person in all the world and all the lifetimes that they can recount, this is the most important relationship of their lifetime. And I say that only because it doesn't get bigger or more potent than that magical power couple, the magician to the high priestess. It's going to, to be the thing they'll never... It, they can't scrape it off. They can't get it out of their veins. They can't get it out of their head. They can't get it out of their soul because this is a connection that has like um, the intangible. It's like uh, the magnetic pull. It's um, it's like Earth's gravity. That's not something you can fight no matter how hard you want to. So now deal with it, accept it, embrace it even. Look at this. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Man, they're hoping she's going to embrace them or vice versa. This could be same-sex couple, reverse gender roles, does not matter. I don't read stories for genders. We have a Four of Coins going to the Five of Coins. <sighs> there has been ego here, because if you notice, we have somebody that's, you know, like scrubbing the floors 
and it's in front of this huge statue of somebody who's sitting in this gigantic like throne. If in the past they thought, I'm going to hold back and then you're going to come to me. You're going to get lonesome from me. Now they know it's the reverse. It's me that hopes you'll choose me. That's it. It's, it's not a power struggle anymore either. It's that this game of staying away has made me incredibly lonely. This game of withdrawing, but then still waiting for you to maybe want me or to fix things with me is ridiculous because I want to be with you. This person was hurting this relationship through their own ego is what it looks like. Um, you know, I want to be with you. But why have I been refraining from the very thing that I want most what, to, to punish this, to teach a lesson? That's just ridiculous. Actually, I'm not ready to change decks yet. I was going to, but I want to stick with this original. Now, this deck already has two meanings on every card, so I only read it in the upright regardless, but I will say everything has come out in the upright anyway. We have the fool again going to the magician. We keep seeing the repeat message. I was such a freaking fool for this. And this is kind of like, um, it could be a tip of the hat to like Icarus. Um, and, you know, Icarus decided that he would um, escape with his father from the tower that they were held captive in. And they collected all of these bird feathers and then with melted candle wax, they attached the bird feathers to their arms and then they flew out and they were free. But the father said, Icarus don't fly too close to the sun or it'll melt your candle wax and then you'll fall. Well, Icarus didn't listen. So he did in, in his kind of like arrogance, he went ahead and he was enjoying being a bird so much. He forgot the original plan was to be liberated. And so then he caused his own collapse, you know, and by an odd twist of fate, I have been to Icaria in the Icarian Sea, which is in Greece and it's named after Icarus. Um, a beautiful, beautiful location with many, many hot springs. Um, this, I, I, I feel like this character created their own collapse and they know this now. They know that they take foolish actions sometimes, which every character does, right? It doesn't matter what character we're talking about. There will be times where um, arrogance or hubris uh, takes over. And then we make some foolish decisions. But they have seen it this way now. We have the five of coins going to the six of coins. Once again, it's a... <sighs> Will you work with me again? I feel like the problem now is that if they are trying to <clears throat> connect again with their high priestess, because of the way things ended last time, the high priestess could have her girl squad, her, her guy group, whatever we want to call it, that they might have to get through. You notice these two friends are standing here before they can get to that doorway where she is. So... At this point, these have been the friends that have been supporting her while she's been crying. When they come back around and say, I was such a fool, I have no idea why my arrogance got in the way, why I thought we had a problem that couldn't be overcome. Even if, I mean, this could have been a stupid argument. This could have been um, only because it's like people getting beamed up to the mothership. I'm going to say their argument could have been about like, I like science fiction. Oh, science fiction is stupid. I don't like it. And that became the, the issue of the relationship and what led to the demise of the relationship. Pretty dumb thing to have that big of an argument about. And by the way, I'm a huge defender of sci-fi. I love sci-fi above all others. But if somebody told me that they thought it was stupid, if my partner told me sci-fi was stupid, I would not break up with them. Thankfully, <laughs> we're on the same page. Um, so we can enjoy the same kind of films. But the bottom line is that wouldn't be enough usually to break something up. But I think in this case, it was something fairly small that could have been the big issue. For some reason, even though I know these are like coffins or they're supposed to be, they also always look like a horseshoe throwing um, thing. So I don't know if somebody had a fight over like a game or a board game or something like that. But that 
was the, okay, we're not going to be together. It could have been a really stupid argument that led to the breakdown of a connection, a connection that is this strong. It just doesn't make sense that such a small thing could break it up, but it does when we put it together. We go, oh, so somebody had this huge ego. I mean, they were this huge thing made of, of stone statue in their mind. They might have been raised that way where it's like, um, with this huge element of machismo or this huge like princess complex where it's like, well, even if you're in the wrong, they should be, you know, come crawling or, or if they said anything that, you know, they contributed to the argument, they have to say sorry first before I'll say sorry. And they, they sat there on their throne made of stone and waited for the apology that wasn't coming because it, this feels like they really put the wrong emphasis on the wrong thing. So it was foolish and it crushed a relationship. And now even though they'd like it back, they may have a bit of a bad reputation amongst the friends or family group of their high priestess. <coughs> Again, it could be any gender, doesn't matter. But um, we keep seeing that, that common thread of how foolish this was and how much they really just want to collaborate at this point. And more than anything, though, what's pushing them forward like this is this is such a profound and meaningful connection. How could something so simple have ever gotten in the way of something this meaningful? Seven of swords to the eight of swords. Oof. Four of wands to the five of wands. There is something here where I feel like the thing that they're going to probably have to reveal to their high priestess and, and possibly in order to get through those friends that this could be, it could be hard for them to get a chance to talk to her at this point. I, or let me put it this way. It may not be hard for them to talk to her because a high priestess would feel a connection to them also or understand something about this. But friends and family may not understand. It's like, what do you mean you're getting back together with that person? The high priestess themselves may have trouble explaining it. So they could be the ones who have a lot of explaining to do about, I, they might even try to tell a lie about, I wanted to talk to you sooner. I, you know, there were all kinds of problems that happened in my life. They may tell a whopper of a lie to the friends and family, even though I think the high priestess is going to know better. I know it was pettiness that made you walk away from me, but you don't want to maybe look that petty. So you're going to tell a whopper of a lie about, no, I mean, you were, you were my person, but so many things were going on in my life. I, I just haven't talked to you in a while. Instead of them acknowledging I was sitting there stalemating, waiting for you to come crawling back to me, they may not admit that part. They may tell a lie. I don't think it'll get past the high priestess, but it might pacify the family members or the friends who are probably pretty against this union at this point. I definitely feel like this is going to be a, a bit of a circus um, because that four of wands going to the five of wands for them to get back in the good graces. You know, when you date somebody or when you're in love with somebody or you're with somebody, you're not just with them, their whole life and their people, it's going to merge the people they consider the ones that they're close to. They're going to be a part of it too. So when you do one person dirty, you kind of have built a bad reputation with the entire group. And this particular high priestess could have quite a group. Um, this high priestess could be somebody that does acro yoga, that does some kind of um, fire dancing or they're artistic or they, you know, do some kind of gymnastics or they do some kind of performance art or they do something. And we have a whole circus tent here. It could really be that for that group to accept this union again, everyone could have their two cents to put in. They may still hold with this lie that I was trying to come back to the high priestess, but I, I had all kinds of things preventing me. And so, you know, that's what happened. But really I, I, you know, my high priestess is, is my four of wands. We just sort of went through a rough patch. They may be trying to do damage control. How does a high priestess feel about that? lack of full clarity being given to her group because the high priestess is going to know that they're not being truthful. Mm. The star, the four of cups in the reverse, the high priestess knows they know, and they might be even in on this. 
they want everything to be healed. I feel like this high priestess wants this person back. Yes, you acted like a damn fool. We all do sometimes. But you really think this is this powerful of a connection? Well, so do I. No, my friends are not down with you right now. In fact, they kind of hate you. And I don't want them to hate you. It'll take them time to warm back up to you. But they're not going to warm up at all if they start out on this foot of like they loathe you. So it's better to just tell them a lie. You know what? Let's heal stuff between us. We're the ones who matter first. And then let's be able to, you know, integrate us as a unit back into, you know, our friends and family group mutually. If they see that we're really strong, if you're treating me really well, if I'm treating you really well, then eventually this, we don't have to carry around this like weird guilt, embarrassment, shame stuff every time we're around friends and family. We got to get us good. That's, that's what matters is that we heal this, that we really find if we are a connection. So we can't worry too much about other people now not liking this, us coming back together. We have to heal things with us. And not everybody needs to know the ins and outs of every detail of our life. That's what this looks like, the high priestess is saying. Because the high priestess seems to, to be welcoming them back in, for better or worse, right? Nobody has to do anything. It's just in this storyline, they want to heal this. The sun, they also feel like this can be so incredibly happy. So much happiness here. So we have Aquarius and we have um, Leo coming in. We have a two of wands. We have the death card in the reverse. The high priestess has a great deal of hope for this connection, a great deal of belief in this. And yet at the same time, they're also saying, but if, if I discover that this person does this again, or this is a repeat offense, I'll have to make another decision because I'm, I'm still even though I'm really happy, even though I believe we can be happy together, that doesn't mean that this is 100% going to be this beautiful, perfect, transformed relationship. That still remains to be seen. So they're still kind of at a crossroads saying, oh, no, I want this. I'm going to give to this. But if nothing has changed, if they pull that stunt again, then I will remove myself from this. So it's, it's very much, um, it's not like they're, oh, this person's got to walk on eggshells with me. No, no, the high priestess is totally all in for what they want. But they also know that even if we do love each other, there can still be things that make it, you know, impossible for us to get along. But I'm not going to make that decision. I'm just going to allow things to play out and I'll see how things go. I have to give this a full chance um, to see if this works. So this is very much a relationship of, Let's try and see, because I still want this, so I'm not going to deny myself the chance to try and see if, if it can work this time. All right, I'm going to leave that one there um, and wish these characters lots of good luck and lots of growth. All right, thank you for being here. Thanks for giving it a thumbs up. Bye.